highs today and tomorrow near 80 degrees. Currently the Civic Center at 65, in Orange County at 68, in the Valley at 65, and here in Hollywood at 65 degrees. I'm Lori Lerner, and it's 902 on KKDJ Los Angeles. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how, come on a safari with me. Oh, only been around about 10 years earlier, and I could have done the yeah, to surfing so far. His beat voice this morning with Charlie Tuna. It's 904. Special guest Andy Kim will be dropping by. He's going to be a judge. That's the original premise. We got him down here on for the 20 Clairol semifinalists. So we're going to be judging this morning at a brunch to pick the top three. And then maybe some gal is going to be in a national ad. That's right. They have a chance for a trip to New York and trip to Mexico and a bunch of other goodies. Our boss is even going to get up early on Saturday morning to come down here and tote all the prices personally across the street to the restaurant for a morning brunch. So there it shows you what kind of guy that he'll do anything to look at 20 pretty girls. I today have 80 degrees, our forecast, and we mentioned we're going to be calling our, our lucky little old lady in Pasadena right now, who is a Super Bowl of motocross Honda 125 champion this morning. We just pulled her out in a drawing, had no phone number, checked on the number. Now we're calling. Hello. She answer or not? No. Hello? Hello, is this Sally Grossman? It sure is. <laughs> Sally? Good morning, this is Charlie Tuna. I really am the little old lady. <laughs> Yes, you are. Oh, I can't believe that. You just got a Honda 125 motorcycle. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> You've not, not a bad way to start the weekend, huh? Well, I've been waiting all week for the grocery every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this is bringing home a little bit more in the bacon, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. Well, congratulations. Oh. A happy motocrossing, okay? Thank you so much. The best testimony I can give you is that my little 10-year-old will take her own money. Who care about their teeth? Good morning. It's 9.06 and 10 cc. Make that clock radio pop it on Saturday morning a little more endurable. Kick it each 10 cc. I'm not in love. This uh, glazed look is just from being out at 2 o'clock in the morning here. Charlie, tune on Saturday. Tommy, the movie. Your senses will never be the same. Now, now, now you can see Tommy at a specially selected theater near you. Check your local newspaper. This is Howard Cosell. Listen to my speaking of sports at 7.25 a.m., 5.25 p.m., Monday through Saturday uh, on KKDJ. It's the original version of Jaws. 9-11. For Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Whoever you are, the amazing rhythm aces. Sitting in a tiny table. With a yeehaw. The amazing rhythm aces. Third rate romance, boring rendezvous. Uh, no reflection personally on Apollo Soyuz. It's 9.14 this morning. Jay Stevens and I have our morning Saturday link up set for about 45 minutes from right now. He'll be in at 10 this morning. Take it right along with a grocery rebate. If we're keeping tabs on you, it's like the CIA. All you have to do is keep your radio on us when you send us your grocery tab. If your name is picked and you hear it within five minutes and call, we'll pay off the total if you're one of the winners in the KKDJ Great Grocery Rebate. I ran across an item last night that I've never known in all my years in this broadcasting business what the first radio commercial was. Any thoughts what the first one might have been? The first radio commercial, <clears throat> this was exactly the, the whole substance of it. It's 12 o'clock, Bulliver Watch Time. That was the first radio commercial. Simple as that. It's 12 o'clock, Bulliver Watch Time. That was the commercial. And the nice thing about it, you can only hear that twice a day. <laughs> Muscle-tearing, bone-jarring, body-breaking sport. The most prestigious motocross in the world. The fourth annual only Super Bowl of motocross. Family pricing and plenty of fantastic seats available at Sears, Tinkatron, and at the door. That's tonight at the L.A. Coliseum. And congratulations again, Sally Grossman of Pasadena. The little lady over there walked off with a Honda 125cc. Spotted the drawing this morning. I have on the telephone a gentleman who just brought up an important point. We're very preoccupied with the Apollo Soyuz mission that's going on up there in the rendezvous. And, but tomorrow is the anniversary of an even bigger event, at least in our our history. Tomorrow's the moon landing, isn't it? Yeah. And you brought up an interesting point. Uh, we all know who the first man to land on the moon was, wasn't it? Neil Armstrong. And what was your question, though? Who was the second man to step off on the moon? All right. Now, I got it right, didn't I? Yeah. Bingo. You said I was one of the few? You tested some other people? I've asked so four or five dozen people in the last couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And everybody goes, gee, I don't know. <laughs> Well, we'll let, him, we'll let him think about it for a couple of minutes, all right? Who the second man to step on the moon was. And I'll leave it at that. Oh, the Apollo Soyuz mission. Uh, one other footnote to that. They get all these little filler items in the newspaper. The uh, way I think we could have achieved true detente and show the Russians there were no hard feelings, and indeed we're from now on going to try and work together, in, like the outer space down here on Earth, was to give the Russians a pack of Disneyland tickets. <laughs> At 
Longs also gathered a little boss with the Rolling Stones. It's very unfaithful. Rumored for many years as the girlfriend of Mick. As tears go by with Charlie Tuna at 920 this morning, the Los Angeles weather. This morning, low clouds, otherwise sunny and warm today. A high near 80 forecast. Tomorrow, same thing, about 80 degrees. We'll have the surf and beach reports for you here this hour again. 65 at Civic Center, 60 in Orange County, 65 in the Valley. Here in Hollywood this morning, it's 65 degrees. Don't forget Goodyear's Mag Wheel Sale of the Century is on again today and this week only at the Burbank Goodyear Service Store on Magnolia, just east of Hollywood Way. There were some wild specials there again yesterday. It's the Burbank Goodyear Service Store on Magnolia, just east of Hollywood Way, for the Mag Wheel Sale of the Century. Be there today and wheel out the savings from Goodyear in Burbank. Celebrate National Hot Dog Month this weekend with four hot dogs for 99 cents. Your choice of chili, kraut, or mustard. Today and tomorrow at participating their Wiener Schnitzel locations. I have Steve from Cindy's Lindy Parlor and Rumor Control here on the telephone, 921 this morning. Uh, you know who the second man to set foot on the moon was, Steve? Oh, you're testing me. <laughs> no, I'm not testing. No, Buzz Aldrin. For, buzz off, Steve. Right. For, for those of you who are curious. You can always, uh, you know, after you walk on the moon, you can always go and get a, a you know, a credit card. <laughs> That's, remember me? <laughs> now, what was it? You have a point this morning, though, even further concerning the anniversary of the moon landing tomorrow. Well, we all remember what, what the first guy on the moon said, that, that really excellent truly philosophical statement, right? Oh, Neil Armstrong's one small step for man, one giant step for mankind. Right. Now, one of the astronauts said something really, really uh, descriptive, too, and I, I, I can't remember which one it was, mm -hmm. uh, and I can't remember who said it and when it was said, but one of the guys stepped down on the moon and said something like, wow, this is neat. He, he said that. Yeah, that's the line that nobody remembers. As they scrape the Kraft Velveeta sticker off their foot, right? <laughs> it's 922. Really ought to kill a morning, Steve. <laughs> Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboys, the title track. Delton Sean. Wow, this is neat. Brown Dirt Cowboy here at 927 this morning, KKDJ, with the Captain Morning Man and the yellow journalistic news lady. <laughs> How are you? Take a while. Hi. Yes, it does. What's happening? I also have now the words, I'd forgotten about these, the third astronaut who stepped on the moon. Curb your dog. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Or historical note for tomorrow's anniversary. Did you hear my last newscast? Did you hear the Russians singing Hello, Darling? <laughs> uh, country music freaks, I yeah. understand, over there. Well, we have more of that coming up. 